Hey yo, what is? Hey yo, what is going on, guys? Today's video, we're gonna be designing a design without. Uh, hold on. We're gonna be designing a, a design like a header without using any graphic packs. So we're not gonna be using any graphic packs. So this is gonna be. This will be showing you how important graphic packs are. And if you want to get the graphic packs that I use, just go ahead to go to my payhip dot com slash uso and uh, the best graphic packs that i use and just my graphics pack just the best ones ever are there of course i really do recommend them not just because they're my own packs it's because like th th the things they have in them are gonna make you 10 times better i'm just trust me anyway uh yeah let's get straight into the video and yeah all right so here we are my brothers and sisters Alrighty. Mm -mm -mm. all right so let's see what we can do let's just put my text in so bow. yo tell me guys if you guys enjoy this content because uh yeah make sure you guys smash a like and subscribe right now i'm gonna give you guys four seconds one two three four all right if you have smashed that like and subscribe then welcome to the channel this is uh, where i will be posting this type of content of course <laughs> And yeah, this is probably the best designer channel ever. So you make sure you subscribe. And if you want to get this PSD that I'm going to be using for this text, make sure to get it. It's in my Discord. I don't count this as a graphics pack since it's a text kind of thing. So it's not a graphics pack. So this isn't cheating. Just let me know in the comments if this is cheating or not. But we're going to be using this. All right. So here we have a bit of renders added in. So we're just going to go based off this first. Uh, oh, yeah. And I did the text, of course. Well, I'm not done with the text, but yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't know where I'm going to be using that on. Okay, but yeah, so far we have only this. So, yeah, let's finish the text. All right, so here's our text done. We're just going to call it text. And we're going to copy it. And we're just going to be our backup. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do that. And we're going to click filter. We're going to click other. And high pass. We're going to put that to 10. And just like that. We're going to copy that. We're going to click blur. Gaussian blur, put 10. We're gonna do lighten and we're gonna do 70. Yeah, like this, something like that. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna do blur, we're gonna do radial blur and we're gonna do spin, good. And we're gonna put it on linear dodge add and we're gonna put it on like 15%. We're gonna merge all of those. We're gonna copy this and we're gonna add a camera raw filter to it. Uh, and we're gonna okay, keep that there. Contrast can go like this. Highlights can go a bit up as well. This can go a bit up. This can just stay there and this can go like that. And boom. Now we're gonna copy this and we're gonna do blur, Gaussian blur, and we're gonna do 38 actually. And we're gonna do lighten and put that down to like something like this. There we go. That's our text done. Looks pretty all right, in my opinion. Not bad. Uh, okay, we're going to close this gourd since we don't really need this gourd. Okay. Yep, this is our render. So what we're actually going to do to this render is we're going to upgrade it, of course. So we're going to do filter, other high pass, ow. Then we're going to put it to hard light. The passive bit down. We're gonna merge it. We're gonna do uh camera raw filter. And we're gonna do exposure a bit up, contrast a bit like that. I'm gonna do this a bit up and this in the middle kind of thing. And like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy it, filter, blur, gaussian blur, we're gonna add a 10, lighten. I'm gonna add something like that. Perfection. Boom. Gaussian blur. Then filter. Uh, blur. Radio blur. Boom. I'm gonna add linear dodge add to it. And we're gonna add a bit of this to it. And we're not done. I'm gonna copy one more single time. I'm gonna do this. 38. And lighten. And we're gonna put it a bit down. So this is going to be one of the blurriest banners that I'm going to be doing. I'm joking. It's not going to be one of the blurriest banners, but it's going to be a blurry banner. Uh, okay, don't need this anymore. Anyway, um, yeah. So let's just continue. Let's just check what my girlfriend sent me, though. So hold on. 
now we're gonna add this render uh actually no before we add this render let's copy this filter and we're gonna do filter gallery we're gonna yep this perfect settings as well control u and actually let's change to the blue that we're gonna be messing with i think this is gonna be the blue uh for this banner so we're gonna put this as black so we're gonna do like that control u bow max and we're gonna keep it like that actually like that filter where 10. oh no like that now we can put this to light all right perfect yep that's perfect so we're gonna keep it like that and yep that looks pretty all right and we're gonna do the same for the text we're actually gonna copy the text create control u lightness and we're gonna put that on black actually no we're gonna use this text right here uh, let's just hide these two layers and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna color this black so boom. this black same goes for the 3d one so here boom boom that looks good and now we're just gonna copy the text layer just like that and now we're gonna boom make it bigger and just like that no keep it like this we're gonna make that blur uh yeah so by the way i didn't use any inspiration for this banner so we'll see how it looks so now all right that's good uh now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this render right here actually before we do that i still want to mess around with the background a bit more so it's gonna be interesting how we're gonna do the background i still haven't done the background this way yet before so let's see how it will look but we're gonna take the text um yeah this text right here boom filter gallery boom control u colorize max Oh, no, that's the wrong blue. Control U, colorize max. And we're going to put it to the background. Oh, even behind this, actually. So, like that. And, yeah. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add the glow to it. Just like that. And lighten. And, yep, that's perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add this render. We're gonna add this around something like that. Yeah, something like this. Should I? Yeah, that sure looks pretty good. Uh, should we make it over this? No, 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 behind, all right. Like that, what you wanna do, boom. Boom, over there, high pass, 10. Boom, bow, filter, blur, motion blur, 10, boom, lighten, same thing, blur, 10, blur, radio blur, 10, and that jet. Boom, now we're gonna do have a raw filter. Yeah, so this is gonna be interesting. Uh, really excited to see how it'll look i'm gonna put this a bit down actually and this a bit up and this a bit up now what we're gonna do 38 yeah but i hope you guys do enjoy like these videos and stuff um yeah Kind of speed running this. All right, there you go. Yeah, so that looks like this so far. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna do filter, filter gallery. Boom. Control U. Colorize. Oh my god! Hold on.
Okay. Now we're going to make this bigger. Just like that. And we're going to put it behind this. Yep. There you go. All right. So this is an interesting background. Uh, we're actually going to remove all of this. Oh, we're actually going to search for proper backgrounds like these ones. And we're going to make something out of this. So let's get back to you guys in this. All right. This is our background. So we're just going to call it B round. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so wow, that's gonna look like that. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be using that surrender, so we're gonna, yeah, this is what we're going off. Uh, looks pretty interesting. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this down. And, oh, we can't use graphics pack. This is gonna be scary, bro. Uh, this is gonna be so, okay, how do we do this? All right, so we're gonna actually take this. Okay. So how are we going to do this? All right. So we need to fill out space, add particles and CCs without using. Okay. That's going to be okay. So we're going to do solid color. Boom. Yep. Color of his eyes. Linear dodge add. We're going to do control E and float a bit down my friend. And All right, perfect. There we go. All right, now we're going to move on to the text. Oh, why is this so advanced? Bro? There you go. Boom. We're going to do blending options and outer glow. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Uh, now what we can do, dude? I honestly don't know. Uh, well, I would add particles, but we really aren't. So, oh, we can't even add. So oh, it's gonna be tough. All right. I think we're gonna add a bit of glows like this, just so it has something to it at least. I think behind the character, uh, behind the main render right here, I think we're going to add a big, like this type of colored glow like this with some white inside of it. Hey, yo. All right. So like that, I'm going to do that. All right. looks interesting. And we're going to go to the top. We're going to create another layer and we're going to do like dark blue. I'm going to select some parts just like this. I'm going to do overlay soft light, just like that. I'm going to do the same thing I'm going with these lights. So just like that. There we go. All right. So we can't add any particles unless there's a, like a particle brush, which I know there is like this one right here. But it's not the best. That's the thing. Like, this is terrible. Hey, let's just do something with it. Just like this. Like that. Okay. Good. I can add another one of these. Like that. All right, just like that. And we're going to use another one. All right, give me a sec. Got a snap girlfriend again. This has a lot of potential. It's wasted potential though. Uh wet media brushes. Okay. Okay, so we can use this splatter right here. We're just gonna add a bit of that. 
like that. Perfect. I'm gonna add a new layer and fog. Uh, this could be interesting. Oh. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna pick this over here. Like that, and we're gonna like a bit of fog, kind of. Uh, okay, we can't use any packs. That's the problem. Uh, all right. Let's put a bit of water splashes, I guess. Cause this this could be our brush. Okay, this is good. Okay, hold on. Uh, so let's just add like a splash. Okay, that looks kind of weird. Just like that. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Just spamming random brushes, hoping for the best, to be honest. But, hey. Alright. So, I can't do anything more to this. At least, I don't think so. We're gonna merge it. Control J, Control E. And now we're gonna do the CCs by doing camera raw filters and stuff. So, we're gonna add uh, a bit of exposure to it. Contrast it up. This goes up. This goes pretty much up as well. Curves are going crazy. Boom. Like that. Ow. Detail sharpening four. All right. There we go. And now control J. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We're going to put it on 10. Lighten. And we're gonna control J this again. Filter, blur. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah. Home. Uh, linear color. Uh, I'm so confused. Is this in here? There you go. Yup, so it doesn't look the best, of course. At least it's something, though. Uh, let's just add one of these spots. Okay, let's use a brush. Boom, 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 boom. boom. And so those are this one. All right, <laughs> looks like this is the best we could do, kind of. Filter, blur. We could do, yeah, blur, radio blur, zoom, and uh, we could do. I like that. I think this is the best we could do since no graphic packs. But yeah, at least this is the, what we could do. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Smash like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video. Peace.